All right, I've created a new Unity project and I saved my scene. And what I want to do now is bring in the video file. I'm gonna start by creating a new folder. Let's call that videos. And I'm going to drag in the file for my 360 video. So I wanna show you here a few of the videos I have. So the one that was originally recorded by the camera was in this format and the uh, camera software allowed me to export the video in this other format, which is the equirectangular format that we need. And see how the bottom area, which is actually one third of the whole height, is the blind spot of the camera and the camera software exported it with um, that kind of black texture that you saw. So uh, to bring this to Unity, I'm simply going to just drag that into videos and what we want to do now is create a sphere that will play this video and we are going to be inside of that sphere. Let me go into here and uh, create a new game object, which is going to be a sphere. Rename that to, uh, let's call this uh, 360 video sphere. And we are going to make sure that that is in position zero. Yep, that is correct. The camera is the camera will also place it in position zero so that the camera is inside of that sphere. Let's make the sphere a lot bigger. 100, 100 and 100 so that we don't really run into the edges of the sphere. So the sphere now um, is uh, quite big and uh, that F in here, uh, there we go. Okay, so the sphere is quite big and we are always gonna be inside of that sphere. Um, so what we want to do now is be able to play the video on the sphere. Let's drag the video to the sphere. And now you will see what is gonna happen. So let me get the focus to my sphere. Let's press play. And uh, let's, uh, let's see, how, see how the video is projected in the outside of the sphere. By the way, when we drag the video to the sphere, a component here was added, which is the video player component. And we have our video clip in there. And also it is uh, it plays on a wake, so it plays at the beginning. We will also want this to be looping, so we're gonna click that right now. But as you can see, we're having the, uh, the problem where the video is being played on the outside of the sphere, but not on the inside of the sphere, and that brings me to the point where I have to explain a few concepts that are part of 3D modeling. And then we are gonna make some changes here so that we can play our video in the inside of the sphere. The first concept that I want to introduce here is that of normals. So when you have, when you have two vectors, and let's say that these vectors uh, define a surface. So there, there is a plane here um, a vector that is normal to those two vectors is a vector that is uh, has a right angle with both of them. So it is a vector that has 90 degrees with both of those other vectors. And the vector operation, so this is, this is vector A and this is vector B, vector C, the, the vector operation that gives you that vector C, it is called the cross product, which I'm not going to explain now, but I just wanted to mention that that is what is used to get that normal. So that is the cross product uh, vector operation. And in 3D modeling, when you have a, a face, basically, let's say it is a triangle. When we talk about the normal on that face, it is a vector that comes out of that face and is perpendicular to that sur uh, surface and the normals are what uh, brings in the reflection of the color. So when you are located here, if this is you and uh, the normal is pointing this way, you can see this, this surface. But if you are located in the other, in the other area, in uh, Unity, you're not gonna see that, that surface. And that is exactly what is happening in, in here. See how we can see the sphere when we see it from the outside, but when we're inside the sphere, we no longer see the sphere. 
uh, you can see it also on the game view. And that is because there's an optimization taking place, which is called backface culling. Like so. So this means that in order to save resources, only the only the uh, the side that has the normal is where uh, is is what is rendered. The other side is not rendered. And I can easily show you this on Blender. Just um, I'm gonna use Blender just to show you the concept. So in Blender, let's say we have a a block like that, a square. Um, in Blender, you can e easily visualize the 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 normals like so so this um oops. this shows you what uh, the normals are like and if you went inside the cube uh in blender or or an easy way is to delete uh, a face so let me get rid of that face uh, we can actually see the other the other uh, side but you can see that the normal is not present there and if we go here and activate backface calling which is what i just mentioned that unity uses you can see that the that the faces are not drawn so that is what is happening here and what we need to do is to invert the normals to draw the normals to push the normals the other way so i'm gonna do that in blender just to show you uh the, the concept um in this case um i can do something called flip normals now the normals are are in the inside and we can see the inside faces for example that one but we can no longer see it when we look from above so we need to be able to do that in unity and for that we are going to need a custom shader a shader is a program that uh, tells the graphic card how to render a certain material a certain um, in unity so for that we are going to use a shader that is freely available online uh, and stack overflow and Covering how to code your shaders is outside of the scope of this course because you need to learn a language, programming language called CG in this case. But in here we found, uh, we can find a shader that does exactly what we need. It draws, it, it, it shows the normals uh, the other way around. It flips the normals basically, which is the same that I showed you in Blender. So what I'm gonna do is grab this code, copy that code and then back in Unity, assets i'm gonna create a new folder here which is gonna be called shaders inside of that folder i'm gonna go and add a new object which is going to be a shader and i'm just gonna pick any of them because we're gonna delete the code so i'm gonna rename this to flip normals shader and i'm going to double click on that so that we can get that open in our code editor and in our code editor, I'm gonna select all of that default code, delete it and paste the new code. And the name of the shader, I'm actually going to add in here custom so that in the menus, we can navigate to it by going to custom uh, shaders. All right, so back into uh, Unity, I can now drag, I can, I can now create a material that will use that shader. So let's call this folder materials and in here, go and create a new material, which is going to be called flip normals material. Flip normals material. And in when it comes to selecting a shader, now we have this custom and flip normals. So that is uh, how we can give it that custom shader. And, and now uh, all I'm going to do is just drag this new material to my video sphere. And you can see that we are inside the sphere and we can see it now. And if we go outside of the sphere, we can see it too. So apparently this shader also draws the... Oh, actually, we, what we're seeing is the inside of the sphere. So this shader flips the normal, so we see the inside. Uh, the area that normally doesn't have the... Uh, that is normally not being rendered. So what happens if we play our video now? If we play our video now, we can see our video. So the, there is not that much movement in the video, but it is actually playing as you can see. Awesome. Now let's test this in virtual reality so that um, we can make sure it is all working. I have connected the Oculus Rift and what I'll do now is just go 
to build settings and make sure that I'm building on virtual reality. Let's add all the scenes uh, to the build. I'm going to click virtual reality supported and that uh, Oculus is already selected by default here. So feel free to test this in um, whichever platform you're using. And, and now I'm going to test this. So I can definitely see the, the video and let's uh, close that. So I can see the video, it's being played on virtual reality. I do notice that things are looking a little bit dark and the way for us to fix that will be to go to the window lighting settings and uh, we're gonna make some changes here. We don't need this skybox source of light. We're not even seeing the Unity skybox. So we're gonna change this by a color. And and um, as you can imagine, that color influences how you're looking at the scene. So we're gonna make that white so that it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, change the video. So the video shows as it should be showing. So there we go. As you can see, it looks uh, more um, a bit brighter than before. Since we're here, there are other changes I want to make. So this, um, I want to disable real-time global illumination. This is indirect light that bounces from one object to another. And also I'm gonna disable baked global illumination because we're not really gonna have any objects other than the panels. And the environmental reflection, I'm gonna set that to custom and just leave it there because we're also not gonna, not really gonna be using any of that. So. Um, now I'm going to close this and there we go. We've got our we've got our video playing in a VR headset and now it's time to start implementing some of the other elements.